What is all going on? I'm Zedmont. I almost forgot what the heck to say there. Um, hopefully you guys are still out there. Patience, thank you very much. I know I did not upload anything last week. Busy vacation. I have still been warshipping though. Going to show you the warship I've been rocking. It, honestly, I just took a warship I had like week ago and then just kept bolting things on as I got more things. 187 unlock tokens. Doing okay, win, loss, win, tie, win, loss, um, but it's time to spend those tokens. Definitely well past due. Here's my tech tree, went back and got those green mines. Also have heavies. Uh, green mines were more of an issue, but heavies could be useful if we go and get those yellow school buses. Don't have bullet, don't have Everspark, don't have sniper towers, don't have GBE node, don't have shock mines. Had the um, damage amplifier for a little bit there. Probably going to switch that to a sky shield. We shall see soon enough. First of all, I need to have a sneeze before I blow your eardrums. Okay, so I'm not sure why my critters aren't maxed. I'm not sure why my boom cannons aren't maxed. Honestly, my brain has just been absolutely mush for the last little while. On vacation, playing from bed on a campground after a few adult beverages, generally speaking. Six engine rooms, just like that. Then into the troop building health. Not the troop health, but the building health. Didn't quite get it there. And now I... I'm going to go get those yellow school buses. Those are going to be super, super, super useful for us. We're going to get that. We're also going to get that building health, bumping it all up to the max. Speaking of bumping things up to the max, make sure you go back and bump those heavies to the max. Now, I know most or a lot of you are going to be up higher than me in the rankings, but hopefully we can cover something useful for you. My other account has been in six engine rooms for about a week, maybe even a little bit longer than a week. Using some seeker hits on that one. We'll have to subscribe if you'd like to see any of those hits. We're about an hour away from those chests, so let's spend a little bit of time together building a base, shall we? Now that we've got all of our engine rooms placed, they're going to be in about this scenar scenario, this kind of area. If you're thinking about going to six engine rooms, I quite prefer six engine rooms. The five engine room metas are just a big bulk of messiness, and you can clear them quite easily with the heavy choppers. So um, I went six engine rooms on my other account without building health. Maybe not the best idea. If you're on the fence about six engine rooms, hold out for building health. You will not regret it. So speaking of buildings and health and all those kind of things, we are going to place some flamethrowers over here. I'm going to walk you through what the heck I'm doing here. As you can see, I do have max level rocket launchers. Max rocket launchers are where absolutely melting people's faces, getting a whole bunch of fizzles early, early on. So that is why I went to those max. If you're going to go max rockets, that's why I went with a damage amplifier. I figured, you know what? Damage amplifier would melt some faces. And sure enough, it did. Like watching people fizzle. Uh, my other account is more of an offensive account. This one is defensive. Um, not really playing a heck of a lot, though. Because like I said, I've been sitting by a lake doing a heck of a lot of swimming. Heck of a lot of mountain biking and hiking and jumping off things and all those kind of summary details. Now the base I was going to copy had sniper towers, so that is going to be a huge drawback for me. Not having sniper towers is going to mean that I'm going to be at least four buildings short, so building this base is going to be a little bit wonky, and I have no idea whose base this is. What I did was I jumped into one of our task force chats talking about uh, bases and tried to find a base as fast as I could. And the consensus was this base is slow to attack. And that is all I'm after. Just trying to build a base that's going to slow people down even the teeniest, tiniest amount. Um, you'll also notice that I have not thrown a video in the video inbox in a little bit. Um, just feeling like my videos were not up to snuff. Wasn't quite at the level that I felt like comfortable putting a video in there. I know I could just put crap in there, but... Um, just choosing not to for whatever reason. Probably silly, but uh, we will move these things along a little bit. I feel like my flamethrower 
No, that's actually the right spot. I had it in the wrong spot to start with. Okay, so um, we are going to get these Grokken and Roland over into here. Sniper Tower, again, no Sniper Tower means I'm going to have to go like this, and then I'll... Um, I'm going to put this, that's where a sniper tower should go, right about there. Then my machine gun is going to come over into there. We can pick that one up. That is my fake sniper tower that we just moved out of the way. Now, I have no idea how this base is going to actually perform, but I've heard very, very, very good things. I, I'm, I'm still not super sold on, I think my, I feel like my, I feel like I'm not, building things in the right spot yet again. So that sniper tower would be right about there, I do believe. Let's see, let's, I'm sorry, I just gotta check up against my, uh, yeah, that's just not quite right. Okay, did, did the exact same thing again. So need to move all of the things down a little bit. Now we're talking. Now we're getting into the right sort of position. I just haven't, whoa, I'm, I'm that's oh, right, right. That's supposed to be. That's my flamethrower. That's my machine gun, not my sniper tower. Okay, now for some shore mortars. It's so, so disappointing when you start to copy a base and then realize you don't have all of the things required for that base. Number one was sniper towers. Number two, I do not have shock mines. So this base, I might just get fully e eaten up, but trying to find a base that matches your tech is so, so difficult. Like this person also has more cannons than I do. So already this base getting into a little bit of trouble for me. Let's keep those mortars going. Mortars side by side, supposed to be a bunch of cannons, but I only have zero cannons left. So we're gonna go something like that. This base is suddenly not looking quite as beefy as one would hope. Okay. Sniper, I mean, uh, shock launcher going in that back corner. Need to move that puppy out of there. Whew. It's amazing how, like, just even taking a week off of the YouTubes, your my brain just gets a little bit fried. Not quite so easy as it once was. We'll get back into form at some point here but for right now we're gonna have to just get going keep blabbering my way through it you guys have said you like the blabber so um thankfully for thankful for that uh, we will see just how well we can get this base built though we're gonna get a boom cannon right in there we've got all of the machine guns okay back there looking good boom cannon up this right hand side sitting about in line with that rocket launcher it looks like maybe one tick in now what do we have left to put out there i feel like they have more cannons than flamethrowers did someone make a trade somewhere along the line for cannons not there uh right there perhaps let's do that switch as well so we just got three more cannons that is going to be the key right here so getting those extra cannons we just spent 300 diamonds folks if this video is any use to you at all i'm just going to do a quick pause here jump into your creator boost it has probably expired because you've forgotten to keep it rocking and rolling throw code zedmod in there it is greatly 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 appreciated and then you can get back to building that base we're going to throw a boom cannon and a cannon and a machine gun about there Feeling like the machine guns themselves might also not be the right total option here, but I think I've gotten back to on par as far as buildings go, so at least there's that. Now I just need to get all of these mines. Not sure why you tried to place a mine down in that neighborhood, but uh, here goes nothing. How many mines can we find on our first attempt? I'm going to guess we're going to get all but four this base doesn't seem to have so, so many hidden mines. I always like it when they have their mines in the shape of a five, like you're playing cards or dice or probably not, probably cards. I mean, dice, not cards. Okay, here we go. Getting the boom mine out there. Shock mine back there. Boom mine going over about there. Now, right about now is when I would probably pause because my brain is slowly but surely shutting down. This is those fives I was talking about. Something in that sort of shape, I believe, is where you've got your minds there. Yep, yep it is. Now, boom mine, boom cannons. 
I have a bunch of tokens to spend. Probably need to get those boom cannons upgraded just for the sake of getting those boom cannons upgraded. Um, feeling, seeing the lower level boom cannons just it doesn't look nearly as imposing. So we will fix that at some point. But uh, where are we at here? Boom mine hidden down around there. If this is your base, if you designed this base, please do hit me up in the comments. I love to give credit to whoever the heck it was that built it, but uh, I have no idea. I literally, it's probably been used by a whole bunch of players, and that is why I am seeing it on the radar of people saying, like, apparently this is like a 1 minute 19 sort of base when it has sniper towers. We will see if that's the case without sniper towers. Uh, I kind of doubt that, but we'll find out. Sniper Tower is just adding a couple extra buildings, adding a couple extra slowdowns. Also, not the fact that I don't have shock mines is a little bit... Oh, we got all the mines placed. That is incredible. I said there was going to be two. It turns out there are going to be zero. Now, I am off on vacation again next week. Not really vacation, more of a... Um, my sister-in-law and her family are here from Australia for 10 weeks and that puts the onus on the rest of the family to go spend every waking second with them so that is what i am going to be doing we are going up doing some downhill mountain biking on a chairlift i'm very 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 excited about that going to sun peaks resort if you know where that is uh if you're up there hit me up i will race you down the mountain otherwise um here we go. We are getting very, very, very close. There's going to be one boom mine that I cannot see. There it is right there. Boom. All of the mines placed. We are ready to rock. Let's spend some tokens. Look at that boom mine. Like just boom cannon. Doesn't that just look more impressive? So boom cannons are maxed. We've got the yellow school buses that's not a yellow school bus. That's a yellow school bus. We got those puppies maxed. We've got the building health maxed. We've got Kavan almost maxed. Don't need him any higher. Otherwise, you're not going to get any more second window to him. So let's do it. I really, really would like to have those flares, but I'm kind of hoping to go the entire season without flares. Is that realistic? I really don't know, but uh, let's see what we can do. So they've got the same sort of base. You just hold one boat for that left-hand side, or two boats, I should say. We're going something like this. One, two, three, one, and Kavan is going to go right dead center. Then I'm just going to hang out for a little tiny while. Kavan needs to stay back, not get shot in the face, and... There's not a lot to this. I mean, the fact that we're just gonna, they're just hoping that we're going to forget about that left-hand side. We're going to drop some critters in there. Probably should also drop this other boat. We'll drop that about there. Getting that yellow school bus. Now, you'll notice that once you switch from riflemen to the yellow school buses, you don't clear nearly as many mines. So that's the one thing I will say. When you switch from all riflemen or three riflemen with bombardiers to using... Um, the school buses, you're going to find that your troops are going to hit more mines. As long as you're prepared for that, not a big deal whatsoever. Now, we're going to get our dudes walking over here. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh oh I don't want to use another um, shock, so we're going to throw some critters there to distract that boom cannon. And then just slowly but surely pumping out, don't call me Shirley, pumping out all of those um, second wins. I mean, this is going to be decently quick. Nothing fancy here. We've got Kavan got shot in the face somehow, some way. Going to need to keep those bombardiers alive. We're going to need to get rid of some of those mines so that we can go from right to left as these left-hand guys make their way up. Not a great placement on that sky shield, I gotta say. Let's get some critters back there and see if we can't pull out our first win at the six engine room level. I feel like we should. Those critters getting some licks in on... <laughs> Sorry, that was a mental image. Sorry, getting licks in isn't like getting some hits in, but then I thought maybe critters actually lick things to death. That's why they do such little damage. Two minutes, five seconds against Devia. And look at this. They've got tanks in there somewhere. They've got an engine room nowhere near cleared back there. I think they've given up. We're going to have to pause because 
They have just thrown the towel in, and we are going to have to jump back to our own warship. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed. We did win that earlier battle. I've also done, I think, 14 more battles since then. Went losing two of them, winning all of the rest, as you can see here. Someone leaving an engine room, someone leaving three engine rooms. That was me somehow, some way. We won't look at that one. They left two. We won by two. They left one. So people struggling against this base, getting times like one minute, four seconds, um, leaving up some engine rooms. This base is doing very, very, very well. I've now got 45 unlock tokens we can use, uh, torn between using them on sniper towers and shock mines and winning. So we're not going to do anything quite yet. Also, Seekers, very, very, very fun. Like I think I mentioned, my other account is using Seekers and having a lot, a lot of fun. But I figured, you know what? Let's show you a little bit higher level gameplay, or at least higher level attack. I don't know if it's going to be higher level gameplay or not, but we'll do our best. Now, I did record... Uh, the other video and I actually cut it out of here um, thinking that you know what uh, the, my video card crapped out a little bit my windows decided to install updates as soon as I started my third attack in the video I did go three for three in that video but they were at I believe that would have been rank 18 so I figured, you know what, let's come back, do a couple at rank 20 and just close this puppy out. So I'm probably going to say a couple things twice, not overly, overly concerned about it. But at the same time, if I say something and you're like, you already said that, there's your reason for you. Um, I had a little bit of a transition in there where uh, the video went to the smoky scene and so... I tried to use that to cut between the two, um, and that's why that last player's name was not on the replays. But getting these last boat of bombardiers out late is so critical. Otherwise, your troops go all the way up, they get that engine room, they get that engine room, then they have to come all the way back. So throwing critters on them or throwing barrage on them or something else, not really... I don't have barrage, don't really have any other options, so it's all about dropping it in that style for me leaving the late late bombardiers and trying to get some of the troops to go to the right i didn't get a good split for the back engine rooms but at least we got a good split and we got that front left one if you don't get that front left one and you don't have flares it is so frustrating like incredibly incredibly frustrating uh, we are currently winning by a little bit. I've seen a lot of people dropping their critters way, way, way late. And you'll notice that this is only my second shock of this entire attack. So Kavon doing great, great things. Heavy choppas. Those fully stacked five engine room bases absolutely suck without heavy choppas. So if you're thinking about going to six, go to six, get those heavy choppas. You will not regret it. But like I said, probably want to get that extra building health first. People told me, don't do it, don't go without building health, and I went anyways, and it was okay. But I was in rank 16 or 17. Uh, might be a little bit different depending on where you guys are. Let's see how Kopi 11's doing. This is fairly standard. Those mines are just eating people up. Those five mines right there, eating people up. Now, Kopi probably could have got all my engine rooms. They had enough troops. But they knew that it was going to be a lot, lot of extra time, and they pulled the plug. So kudos to them. A player that retreats, uh, always, always doing the general, gen gentle, I can say gentlemanly or honorable thing. Don't have to retreat, though. That was not needed. Go get those engine rooms. See if you can stick it out. Never give the opponent a win. Maybe I could have forced quit there, and I finished with, like, two seconds left. I am not one that would ever suggest that my opponents retreat unless they're sitting there with all medics or something ridiculous and stupid like that. So we're going to bring Kavon down here. I like to throw a shock on that early front stuff just because there's not a ton of room in that mortar. If you let it hit your troops twice, will take down a whole, whole bunch of troops. We're going to drop that one last um, heavy chopper over there. We're going to keep clearing mines. 
like I said, not entirely sure this is the best way to do things, but it's a way to do things and it's been working fairly well for us. Also, do not let Kavon get shot in the back of the head. I feel like he walks across boom mines, puts himself in harm's way a lot, lot this season, and you really, really, really don't want that to be happening. So we're just going to get them up tight and personal. I've got tons of critters going, in, I mean, uh, bombardiers going to that left hand side probably gonna need a med kit pretty darn quick otherwise those rocket launchers are gonna eat us up Kavon like I said stepped on a boom mine but he's not critical um, don't feel like you have to wait for Kavon before going into six engine rooms because you really 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 don't um, I've had Kavon die a number of times right square on the beach when I first in the last couple attacks when I first went to six engine rooms Zero issues, zero problems. He dies in the beach, the rest of your troops, as long as your med kits are maxed, which they probably are from earlier on in this season, you're gonna do just fine and dandy. Um, cruising on through here, I have yet to, um, I've yet to fizzle against a six engine room base. Those front loaded five engine room bases without flares, I'm still working on figuring out the right um, ratio of heavy choppas to bombardiers, it's not, I feel like it's more like 4-4, four, four, uh, but the problem is I don't have the GBE node. So the GBE node is very, very tempting for me at the moment. Gonna allow me to throw a couple extra shocks, get a couple extra troops out there. Here comes that shock I was telling you about. Getting the rocket launcher and the boom cannon means that all of our troops can just cruise on up there. Shock launcher probably going to do a little bit of damage for us since we don't have any of our um, heavy dudes out there. Would be really, really helpful if that boom cannon would take down one of our heavy choppas, but I just don't see that happening at this point. So we are cruising right along, should be able to, with a little bit of extra time, jump into diamond today, I would think. Uh, just a matter of whether or not I've got the time for it. I will do my best to record and upload any videos, any time that I have available to me, but like I said, just not a ton of time right now. So thank you for all of you, for all of your patience. That's going to be close. I feel like I was pretty slow on that one. Demogo, what do you got for us? Ah, we lost. Can't end on that. That, I see that, I cursed myself. Started to say I was winning a whole bunch, said I was going to make it to Diamond, and then... Womp, 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 womp. Now, on this account, I, I feel like I need to spend something ASAP. I've got 65. That would get me to Flares, and then I'm probably going to park this account. My other account is like ready to go seven engine rooms, and I want to go all the way to the end of the tree on that one. So uh, we will see just how much patience I have. Let's do... We're going to do just one last battle. Video card overloaded yet again. I think it has to do with the heat in the summer. I think it's like... Um, thermal throttling, but it's been a long time since I've looked into anything thermal or computer related, so uh, we're just going to leave that. I'm going to go with two boats this time. We're going to go one on either side, then I'm going to sneak a couple bombardiers out there, a couple bombardiers in here. My sneak on that right side did not work out at all, and so as a result, I'm going to have to drop Kavan over there, and then we are going to have to drop a med kit right about there. That was incredibly, incredibly close. Kavon is on that right-hand side. We need a critter for this... R Sorry, Kavon's on the left. We're on... Kavon's on the right. We are on the left. We need some form of protection on that left-hand side. Otherwise, we are going to be in deep, deep trouble. There we go. That was by the absolute skin of our teeth. Like, there was nothing left on that entire left hand side need a med kit desperately right about now otherwise we are going to be in a world world of pain just not going well i keep missing up the drops i as you saw there i've switched from being um with three boats of heavy choppers down to two and i feel like it's not going super well for me i'm not sure that it's the right answer as kavan walks into a boom mine but it is an answer and i the fact that I've been winning a lot, lot means that I can have a little bit of extra um, space available to me to figure out what the heck the right answer is. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Try and figure out how many boats of heavy choppas is the right answer. I've tried 
two, I've tried three. Next up, you can probably guess what I'm gonna go with. That's right, we're gonna try with four afterwards, but for right now, just trying to figure things out. Now, this, these are the times when, you, if you're in a task force group, you just ask them, but I have been swamped and um, I get in this weird head space where I don't want to ask for help if I haven't given people help, if that makes any sense. If I haven't, it's kind of like be going on Reddit, if I haven't answered someone's question, I'm not going to go ask a question. I feel like I'm not being fair in some, that's probably stupid. I, I probably assume all of you are going to tell me that's stupid, but um, same kind of thing. It's why I don't post videos to Reddit, because I haven't answered questions on Reddit. So if you are on Reddit wondering where the heck I am, that's why. I just don't feel... I feel like I'm just, like, spamming things. So, anyways, we are going to be slow yet again. Um, the two boats not feeling super duper great. I will try four boats afterwards. I doubt we're going to get the same times from that simply because those times are going to be a little bit delayed by the lack of damage but uh, we should be able to pick up the win against Volcom I believe yeah we should be good so let me know in the comments how many heavy choppers are you using how your summers go and how your winters go and if you're down south and otherwise I shall be back as soon as I possibly possibly can as we watch the Volcom hit from the bird's eye view 20,000 feet up in the sky. As always, thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace.